What's up, Madden 25 gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to focus on a play I like to use in specific situations against man to man defenses, uh, particularly press alignment, whether it be two man under, cover two, cover two sink, any of those pressure plays. And in this play, I like to use it in third and short uh, situations. And the play comes from the Arizona Cardinals shotgun spread formation. The play is the wide receiver shallow. And the main thing I want to focus on today is showcasing this play against two man under. You're going to see a lot of that online. Uh, getting started here. So what I love about this play is the fact that we can beat you uh, in any press alignment in this look, whether it be cover two sink, two men under, or cover two. What we like to do is we like to motion Wes Welker to the right side of the screen, and we can do a couple of hot routes to make this play a little bit more effective. We like to put our running back on an option route. We like to put Demarius Thomas on a drag route, and then if you want to, on the left side, you can put Eric Decker on a smart routed in route. Okay, guys, the very first read on this play is going to be Wes Welker. As you see, that's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage right off the bat, and we have a nice man-beater to him. Our second read on this play does not always beat man-to-man -man coverage. However, um, you know, he's always a good look because if Wes Welker's not open, a lot of times that's going to mean they're in a cover-two-sink type of defense, and Andre Caldwell on this deep streak might be wide open uh, for a deep bomb. If he's not open, what I would recommend is just going to going on to your next read. Don't try to force that streak because even if you have good user catchability, it's not always open. Okay guys, the next read on this play is the drag. What we like to do with the drag is pass lead them up. As you see, that's Richard Sherman, and we could still pass lead up drags uh, against the best cornerback in Madden NFL 25. Um, the drag is still a very viable option with the pass lead up. Works almost like a slant route. You can throw it blind, especially against man-to-man -man coverage. Okay, guys, moving on to our next read. We're going to take a look here at No Sean Marino out of the backfield. This is going to do a good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. He's going to cut to the outside, and we're just going to hit him with an outside pass lead and then let one of the best running backs in the game this season do his thing for the Denver Bronco offense. Okay, guys, and then the last final read on this play is Eric Decker on this deep end route. Typically, this will not be open against man-to-man -man coverage unless your opponent is shading his man coverage outside. What we want to do with this is if we pass lead it inside, we can click on and make a jet catch like that, a, a, a jet pack catch uh, with Eric Decker. And basically, all we're doing is we're clicking on to him, and we're just leading him to the football, trying to get that in inside position, fighting for that inside position that's so important in men in NFL 25. And there you see there's the catch. But I would recommend, you know, typically you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man with those first quick couple reads. Okay, guys, so that's this money play for you guys. I wanted to go ahead and break it down. Uh, the reason I call it a money play is I use it in money downs. It's very good for those short yardage plays because a lot of everything works off each other very quickly for that press alignment that you're going to get a lot of times on second down and short. This is a very good play. Another hot route you could potentially do if you're facing more of a man coverage based team is put Eric Decker on a slant route. Slant routes this year with a pass lead up. You could actually click on and make a user catch if you want to. That time, Browder won that one-on-one -on -one battle. But you can also, uh, sometimes he'll just win in man coverage. Um, it's not 100%, but it's a little bit better success rate than the in routes. As you see there, you know, 50%, probably one out of five out of every ten times, I would say this happens. Um, it actually sometimes happens even a little bit more than that. As you'll see, we're going to cycle through one more time and show you this slant route. If, when it gets that inside position, it does a good job at beating man coverage uh, over the middle of the field. Okay, guys, so that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this Madden 25 money play. This is out of our shotgun spread formation, which we like to use in our Arizona playbook, guys. The whole playbook breakdown will be coming soon. Um, just trying to give you guys some samples of how to beat man, zone, and all of that from all these plays. We're going to showcase some couple other playbooks coming up. But do be on the lookout for that Arizona offensive guide coming soon. Also, guys, our defensive ebook. We, once I get two controllers, uh, we'll be we'll be talking a lot more about defense. But until then, I'm gonna suggest to you guys that you use uh, blitzing when you're blitzing. If you want the pressure to come in, you want to blitz from depth. And when we say blitz from depth, meaning blitz from don't stack everyone at the line of scrimmage like we would in the 46 normal. Maybe something like a dollar three two six or a dime flat. Very good blitzes in those packages. And you don't want to blitz every play in Madden NFL 25. Or let me just say you don't want to blitz from the same side every single time in Madden NFL 25. Thank you for your time today, guys. We will have some defensive stuff coming soon. Also, be sure to check out my Twitch.com.
Twitch.tv live stream page. We'll be going live tomorrow at six, or actually tonight at six o'clock p.m. Eastern time, uh, and we'll be there from six to seven, streaming some Madden 25 gameplay footage, as well as talking about some strategies and tips you can use to improve your game. Thank you for your time today, guys. I hope that you can use this tip to better your offense in Madden 25, and we'll talk about defense later on.